How much, what time did you go to bed? Four? Four. We got up like at six. How long did you wait after I went to bed? How long? Yeah. What time, what time did I go to bed? What time I go to bed? Me. Oh. Oh, after you? <laughs> <laughs> I think about 7.5 minutes. <laughs> okay, so I guess we both went to bed about four. Yeah. And we got up at what time? Oh my God, we didn't check when time got up, sorry. Not that long ago. Eight o'clock? Well, we so we got about good. four hours sleep. That's not bad, considering yeah. our body clock is still in the other side of the world. So yeah. it's like uh, right 8 now, p.m. right now. Yeah. So and I feel pretty good. Up my, I, I feel so feel sleepy. So anyhow, the plan right now is to go downstairs and grab some breakfast before they shut it down at 10 o'clock. They shut down. Is that right? Yeah, six to 10. Grab my flip flops here. And you'll see on the video, I was complaining about the room. Um, we do have a nice balcony, but you can see it's just a wall out there to view. And we're on the fifth floor, so that must be a tall ass building over there. Oh, um, but until fifth floor. Anyhow, I was complaining about the room. Blah, blah, uh, blah, 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 yeah, complain. Maybe I was just tired, I don't know. Here's that step I about broke oh. my ass on this morning. Pocket face mask. Oh, well. You need, do you need, right? Let me have it. No, I don't need it. Oh, you don't need? No. You can grab it just in case, but I don't think so. It's a big room, okay? See? That's the room, room we should have. That is, we are in the big room. See, small room, very half oh of them. God. How are they going to put a king bed in those little rooms? We must end up in one of these rooms. I don't know why they do five C here, five B here, no thing separate. Good morning. Ticket. Oh, the paper here. Hold this. Just said anywhere. You're gonna go find a chair? Hmm? Go find a seat? Yeah. Find a seat? Find a seat? I think. Wow, this table's high. High, the chair high? The floor must go down. Oh, you are, it's the far. floor goes down here, yeah. For me, I don't feel bad. So, how do you call this in Thai? Oh, this. Uh, how do you call this? Khao Tom. Oh, I thought it was kanji. It's same. Kanji, kato. That's what I thought. I asked him um, if it was kanji. He told me no. Kanji and rice soup is not the same. It's not? I asked you. Yeah, I think it is. Everywhere else that I've ever mm. thought. I thought it was. But we're literally about a quarter of a mile from the uh, Miracle Grand, which is the hotel we stayed at last year, right before we left. And what's IT market? Maybe half a mile up the street? One mile. One mile. Their pork is not cooked good like yours. It not fall? Not fall off the bone, yeah. I think I got a little excited with the chilies, though. So we'll get done eating. We're going to go back up the room, get on the internet, find a super rich to get some bot. You know, we said earlier, she needs to get some work done on her phone. I think we're going to go to IT Square to try to do that. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And then probably set up a appointment for tomorrow for my teeth or later today. Later today. We think we're going to take the overnight bus to Sisaket. So we'll stay here tonight and then late tomorrow night, like what, 10 o'clock? No, we should be leaving here about 8.30, 8 p.m. 8, 8 p.m.? To the station bus, bus station. Okay, around sometime tomorrow, late evening. 
mid evening, get on the bus and head out to Sisiket. It's what an eight hour drive out there mm -hmm. on the bus. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that overnight and then they're gonna put more dirt on the property either tomorrow or Friday, we're not sure, but we'll try to get some of that recorded out there. And my plan was to come to Bangkok and get a haircut because I haven't had my haircut, if anybody's wondering about my long hair. I haven't had my haircut since we were in Bangkok a year ago. So it's been one year since I've had a haircut. But I keep going back and forth. Cut it, don't cut it. Cut it, don't cut it. She keeps saying, do whatever you want, but I'd like you to keep it. But if you cut I it, later, cut I it like make, this. I could make the wood at the Banyanil. Make what? Make wood. wood. A vote? A vote. <laughs> Who's going to vote? I will see you. Oh, okay. And if he said, oh, look ugly, look ugly, and then we will cut, cut your, cut okay. your head, because if they say not good, cut your head. My only stipulation is it's all or none. I keep telling her it's all or none. I'm not going to pay those people in the United States $25 for a 15-minute haircut. It's ridiculous. They don't need to get paid $100 an hour to cut hair. So I'm boycotting them. So I either let it grow or take it off. What's wrong with you? People pay for $70 do nail. Not this people. Do yet. I'm going to get another coffee. You going to be here a minute? Yeah. Okay. I'll get another coffee. Let me fill this one. I'm looking forward to seeing your brother. Huh? I'm looking forward to seeing your brother. Which one? Um, God, Paul Kong. I, huh, Paul Kong, yeah, Paul Kong. Paul Kong need to surgery in his heart. Really? When? Next, in January, February, March. Oh my God, I didn't know that. I just know yesterday or something I talked to him. Doctor said if he not surgery, doctor give him two years. He's not that old. He's younger than you, right, Paul Kong? No. I thought he was your little brother. Paul Kong is about four, five years young, older than me. Oh, so he's old as dirt. He, we, we are different every two years. The kids, yeah. every two years, boom, boom, boom. So he's what, 75? How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm younger than you, 30 years. Yeah, you wish. I wish. <laughs> so that puts him about 50, somewhere right in there. So I think he's younger than you, about five years, something. God, he don't look that old. Because you is same like same old, my big brother. I'll be 59 next month. Mm -hmm. Awesome gal. Gal. Awesome gal. 59 years of beautiful, <laughs> handsome. I know. Debonair. Look at that. Brilliant. Your hair. Yeah, you don't have bald Brad hair. Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> you will have bad armpit. <laughs> so we're looking at these trees along here. And what I'm saying is the design of that house has got a two meter walkway around the outside of the house with overhang covering it. I think it would be nice if, if you just had a like a wall of trees like this along the side of that where you could walk between the building and the trees or the bushes or whatever you plant there and it would help keep the sun off the house. <coughs> I'm not going to edit that out. Ready? Okay, we're gonna get back up. We're gonna go back up to the room, mm -hmm. kind of just get organized to go out and get some pot, right? Yes. Okay. All right. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we made it to the soy to get some Thai pot. You might recognize from last year's video because we came to this same place to get. 
we came to this same place to get Thai bot last year. So super rich, this is where you want to get your money exchanged. You want the green super rich, not the orange one. And stop it. I'll wait here. Okay. I can't take a camera in there, so we'll hang out here. Okay. Well, she goes in and does that. We'll do a little walk around. So grab is like a, in the U.S., it's a, I can't remember what they're called, but it's a food delivery where they you order it online and then they just take it and bring it to you. But that's what these guys are. They're food delivery guys. And there's a bunch of restaurants, food places right here. It's actually a haircut place there. Specialty coffee. Somewhere right here is where I got my hair cut last year, which was the last time I got it cut. I think it's down here. where the little barber light is. Apple Beauty Salon. So this is where the ladyboy cut my hair a year ago. And I haven't had it cut since. So yeah, I love these little soys, man. You can find all kinds of shit down these. But as you can see, we're very close to some big skyscrapers. Somebody cut up. Not sure what that is. Little hotel type thing, I think. Somebody. So we're gonna do this, get this tie bot, and then we're gonna go over to IT Square, which is that mall we frequented last time. And uh, get uh, some work done on Sompit's phone. And as I said earlier, I got to get some headphones for doing my video editing. And we'll probably do some lunch or something over there. It just depends on how our timeline runs. There's coffee here. I'd like to get some coffee, but I don't know how long she's going to be in there. I don't think it'll be too long. Somebody cut up. Some nice fresh fruit there. That's one thing I love about Thailand, man. It's always fresh. That's one thing I love about Thailand, man. It's always fresh food. What the hell is that, man? Those are huge. I don't see any baby bananas, though. Kind of the main soy. That bike. That's a full size bike there. It's small by our standards, but it's big for Thailand. That's another one of those food delivery bikes. There's another one. off of here and stand down here and wait for some fit and then we'll probably pick you up when something comes up um, if nothing else probably IT square and I forgot she has a microphone on so everything she's saying in there you could probably hear it so this audio on this might be all jacked up but we'll see okay uh, she got done at super rich you got some bot yeah all right the exchange rate today is 33 33.02. That was the rate today? Yeah, for $50 bill and $100 bill. Ah. 
if you have uh, like one or five dollar bill, it's not be too plastic. Okay. So you better bring the fifty or hundred dollar bill. You will got better rate. Okay. So now we're on our way to IT Square. We had to walk off the little road out to the main road here. And we're going to go up here and cross over the main road so we can catch a taxi going that way. Because if we catch one here, we're going to have to pay for it to go, I don't know how many miles to turn around and just come back. So we're just going to walk away to uh, save the time and the money in the taxi. Plus, it's very nice weather right now. It's still in the morning, probably, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock. And, uh, I don't know, it ain't even 80 degrees out, I don't think. Check this out. That's what I call a backpack. <laughs> Overload. Oversized backpack. Huh? Oversized backpack. Yeah. So anyhow, we're not gonna sit and bore you too long, but we're gonna cross over right here, catch a taxi over there down to IT Square. We'll catch you down at IT. Okay, unexpected stop. I forgot. We're gonna stop and get bus tickets for Scissor Cat for tomorrow night. There's somebody right there. This is the bus station where we get tickets. And when you leave, you leave out the back on the bus. Okay, so we're at the IT Square Mall. Um, I got a set of headphones. She got her banking done. We got her phone fixed. Uh, what else do we do? Seems like we did something else, but uh, I was gonna get my teeth cleaned again. So we called the other dentist place that we went to last year and they didn't have anything available today. So she scheduled it for tomorrow, but they got a new store right here. The other one is next floor up and down that way, but um, so we just walked in here and they said, yeah, we'll do it here in about 10 minutes. So we basically just fill out a card and uh, uh, with our information on a phone number and address and stuff like that. And we get in right now and uh, I think it's only like, I don't even know, $20 or something to get teeth cleaned. And they do it right now. Um, so everything's going pretty good so far. Uh, as far as getting stuff done, the hotel said they're gonna go ahead and take our stuff out of the room and move it to the new room, so we'll be in the new room when we get back there, so that's good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna walk in here. I don't think they'll care about the video, but they still got their Christmas tree up. See, they're very, very Christmas people here. They still got their tree. She done already? Okay, so I guess I'm next. I'm next. Am I next? Yeah. Will they let us video? Me? Do we do? Will they let us video? Oh, inside? Yeah. You can? Yeah. Yeah, good. Hello. Hello. It's on. Turn it over here. Seafood? No. Hmm? Do you allergic to seafood? Do I what? Allergic to seafood. No, no. sorry. Okay. So you can rinse your mouth with your mouthwash. Is this seafood? No, no. It's, oh. <laughs> uh, it's contained... Uh, it's a bit funny. <laughs> it's contained some, uh, some composition similar to seafood. Oh, 
Well, it was yellow. It was it was yellow when it went in. What happened? Right here. So it's an antiseptic, and it tastes like an antiseptic. Just clean, yeah, no problem. Next year, you fix the tooth, a little hole somewhere. So we will cover your face. Yep, yep. Here, but it's not, it's not deep. Uh, right. Okay. okay, so today we do cleaning and uh, cleaning, uh, it's 1,000 baht, right? And we have a cost of 50 baht, right? That's 1,050, right? Okay. How much? Oh, <laughs> 1,050 baht. Okay, very good. So uh, we will be, it will be a little bit noisy because yep. of the suction and also if you feel any pain you can raise your hand, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, no, not I, yet. I just practice. <laughs> okay, just practice. Okay, so that only took about 20 minutes to get both of us clean. What are we doing? Hong Okay, Hong Yes. Oh no. Twenty. Nail Not busy at all, man. That one lady over there. So now we're gonna go find us some iced coffee or something. Um, she'll probably wanna get something to eat. I don't know. I'm gonna see if we can talk her into wait until we go to the market over by the hotel. But we'll see. I think she's probably hungry by now. She's checking out the mail shop. You beep? How much? Read it. This for uh, cut cuticle, 100, about $3. This cuticle for feet, 150 about five dollars dollar. for four and a half. Gel color, gel color, one ninety nine. About six dollars. Six dollars. How much you charge for that in America? Uh, thirty, twenty five. Twenty five dollars, mm -hmm. and it's how much here? Six dollars. Six dollars. Wow. This remove gel color, ninety nine baht. Ninety nine three dollars. Minus three dollars mm -hmm. to remove the gel, mm -hmm. the old one. This cat eye. What is it? Cat eye. What is that? Cat eye. Oh, it's a type of type of polish for ten dollars. Yeah, roughly eleven dollars. This is the fake nail. KVC. Thirteen dollars. Yeah. Thirteen. This acrylic, acrylic eight nine nine hundred. This is ten. No, twenty. That's. Ninety nine is going to be twenty dollars for ninety nine ninety nine. Nine hundred. Ten dollars. $9.99 would be $30. Okay, $33 actually. But anyhow, coffee money? Yes. Okay. So we're going to walk, cruise down here through the mall and find some coffee. We bought some gold here last time. Actually, I think we bought this ring. Didn't we buy this ring here? Mm -hmm. This ring? Didn't we get that there? Yeah. At that store? Yeah. Yeah. I have nothing in my ear. So what are you saying? You want to shop for gold? If you hope, oh, let's go get some coffee and then come back. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay awake all day and all night, try okay. to get my body turned around as quick okay. as possible. Mm -hmm. I want some red glasses like this though. This one. He's red. The red ones. one. Yeah. That for the Elton John. When you say, huh? If the night has come, who is that? Who? That glass made me think about John Lennon. Oh, John, John, I, yeah, I said, John I said Martin. Elton John, but John Lennon, that's who I meant, yeah. Oh, Elton John, I don't know. Good night. 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 Good night.
it's cold. Last time we were here, we bought driving glasses and reading glasses right here. Yeah. Very, very people cheap. glasses. Very cheap. What, $3? Yeah, $3. But they actually, the nighttime driving glasses work better than my prescription glasses. And maybe because my eyes have changed since I bought prescription glasses, I don't know. But I was looking at this place before. This place? Yeah, but I don't know. But I see it's no coffee, it's just the drink. Latte? Mocha? That's coffee, right? Yeah. You wanna try here? I don't know. What do you wanna do? Up to you, you wanna try coffee. You take coffee. And then pour some to eat if it's hungry. We're gonna eat here or eat at the market? Eat here. I told him you would do that. I told him you would wanna eat here. I said, I'm gonna try to talk her to go to a market. Uh -huh. What do we have left here? Nothing. Maybe I go look some book at bookstore. Chilling, relax now. Okay. And I be sit and researching about go get the thing to the open the account. Maybe we can do here. For me to open the account? Yeah. Okay. Get the paper first, okay. and then we might take the paper to open in this again. Okay. Because I think you want to have account in this. I do. I do. So if we can have here, we don't need to go this again. But I need to do it in Sisaket, right? Because if you need to make changes, you have to go to where you open the account, correct? Really? I think so, yes. Oh, that's why I will sit and do research. Okay. Talk about coffee. So you take this place, coffee this place? Or you go yeah. somewhere else? I don't know. Yeah, let me get some here. I, you got bot? I don't have bot with me. Sabadi uh, Krap uh, Mocha? Yes. So All right. it's 55 uh, baht, so that's like a dollar forty. Fall asleep? No clue. Yeah. <coughs> that was fun. So we just sat and had lunch. I had a whole 10 minute conversation on video. Got to the end of video or end of lunch, went to turn the video off, and guess what? I didn't even turn a damn thing on. So we had a long conversation and didn't even get it recorded. Okay, so we got all that running around done at the IT Square. Uh, we got back to the hotel, they did get our stuff moved to the new room, and I want to show you it because I'm happy now. Much nicer room, much more modern looking, much cleaner, doesn't smell. Got my king size bed. And if you wander over here, we got a bird fence out here, but we got a better view too. That's the little soy right out there. Um, the market is right beyond this, right beyond this building here to the right. There's a Lotus right over there, which is like a grocery store. 
And then um, you can see that, where is it at in the video? Right over here, I think it is, is the big C sign. That's where the other convenience store is. So we just got to go out to the soy, past that first building, and there's a big C, which is like a 7-Eleven right there. So right now, I'm going to go down there, grab a couple cold beers, bring them up, put them in the fridge. I'm going to run over to the convenience store, this big C, and get some beers, take back to the room. Sompit didn't want to go. She's up there watching the video I just published. But that's our hotel. I believe our room is like one of those little curved balconies, seventh floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be like the third window down up there. Um, but the other thing I want to mention, Wi-Fi. At first, the Wi-Fi sucked. Um, so we called the front desk, and they gave us this other Wi-Fi system and a password. Um, so really good Wi-Fi. I had to upload that video for about four hours at 11%, hooked up to that new Wi-Fi, and the other, what would it be, 89%, uploaded in about three minutes. How you doing, huh? What you doing, kitty? Hmm? It's a nice cat. I would take this one home if I had a home. Thing followed us at four o'clock or three o'clock in the morning last night, followed us all the way down to the convenience store and back. Um, oh hell, there's a convenience store right there, a supermarket. I'm gonna walk down Super C though and get a couple beers. Pick back the room. One thing I want to talk about real quick, um, public restrooms in Thailand. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I'm not going to make it polite. I'm just going to tell you. Public restrooms, you're in Thailand. Most of them have squat toilets. Two things to remember. You go to Thailand, take baby wipes with you because they most of them don't provide toilet paper. And if you're not willing to use a squat toilet, find yourself a handicapped toilet because the handicapped toilets will have Western style toilets in them. So just FYI. This is where the uh, guy was. We got the chicken from at three o'clock this morning. All right, so we're gonna go in here and grab a couple of beers. Sabadee karap. So Leo's my favorite. We're gonna go back here. We're gonna get a two pack. I don't remember the price on this. I pulled these out two o'clock this morning and they said, oh, you can't have those because uh, we can't sell them in the middle of the night. They think you have to stop selling them like at 11 p.m., something like that. All right. Oh, cup and cup. Yes, please. Cut up. Cup can cut up. That's pretty easy. That was uh, two bottles of beer at a convenience store, 79 baht, at a 33 exchange rate. That's uh, what, two and a half bucks, I guess. A little over, a little under two and a half bucks. So that's pretty good. Also, I'm supposed to look for a restaurant while I'm out here. Watch that hole. Look at that. Son of a bitch. That's fine. It should be good. There's a lot of people here. There's the inner body. Oh, I think it's a mixer of 
internal organs. That's why they call it inner body dried soup. Because it's a mixture? Yeah, it's got probably got intestines and liver and hearts and everything in it. Oh, here's my meal. Put here so long. Favorite beer. <laughs> right here, folks. Those of you that have watched my Thai videos before, or most anyone's, you need to watch in Thailand, yeah. you put ice in your beer. Why? Because know. normally it's so hot out, by the time you get through that big bottle of beer, it's warm. So they give you ice to keep your beer cold in the glass. And you just hope that the ice is made from clean water. Most of the time, these restaurants will buy ice from them ice production facility, which is potable water. Hopefully they're not making it wrong. So here in Thailand, they bring these carts to your table. It's got a bucket of ice and you put your bottles and stuff on there. I always keep a bottle of water there in case you want water um, and you pay for what you open but in Vietnam they'll do the same thing but they'll bring a whole bunch of beers over there and sit them there and then you open your beers and leave the empties on the cart and then when you're finished they just charge you for however many empties you have so it's a little bit of the honor system but it's awesome because you don't have to sit and wait for beers you don't have to order more beers you just drink what you want Katok krap. Leo Nung Gao Taurai. That's it. Kapun Krap. She annoying or something? Well, why? <laughs> I mean, she feels. Oh, like I annoyed her? Like, no, I no, bother no. Her? It's just herself. I didn't mean. She doesn't look happy. No. Some damn throng here that can't speak Thai, <laughs> flapping his jaw at her. She's like, "What? What? What would you say, you dumb white boy?" Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's like a dollar or two forty-five a bottle. What do you need? Sean? It's warm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here's a glass. Nam Kang. Ice. Nam Kang. Nam is water. Kang is hard. So hard water. Not like hard water in the U.S. But frozen water. All the time I'm teaching you today. At our wedding ceremony at her mom's house, the guys had whiskey there. For part of the celebration, I had to drink like two shots. The stuff tastes like freaking diesel fuel. You're so worried it messed up your brain. Because you guys freak me out. Everybody tell me, oh, don't drink that Thai whiskey, don't drink that Thai whiskey. That. This here stuff that they're drinking, I hear is okay. But that stuff in the with the blue label, I hear that will melt your brain. So there's some I don't know if you can see this, but it's probably fish sauce and chili, ain't it? Mostly. Yeah. Some lime, some cilantro. Lime. I'm not sure lime might be just vinegar. No. If there's vinegar, there's only a little bit. Ooh, our intestines. Check this out. Intestines. Pasta. Pasta? Yeah. It round. Cold oh, it looked like a macaroni. Macaroni? <laughs> yeah. We were in a taxi today, and the taxi driver pulls out a big green leaf like this and he tears the sides off the stem and throws the stem out the window. I was asking her what it is. She said, oh, it keeps him awake. Make it hum. She was wanting me to try one and I don't even know what the hell it is. I'm like, man, this stuff might me up. Make it hum. I didn't try it because I don't know what it is.
I don't want to go to a Thai prison, man. Is it legal? Contact. You, if I said contact leave, you know? Cottage leave? That's what this is? Yeah. No, no. The taxi shoeing. But it, it's, it keeps you awake, huh? Yeah. Kraton. Kraton. That's the stuff they smoke and they, oh. I've heard of that. That's not legal, is it? No. No, not legal. We put in tom yam soup. See, she was trying to get me to eat that stuff. Kotek. Kotek? It says cottage leaf in Kotek. English, but Kratom, I've heard of that on the, like the news when they busted people for growing it. I think that's the stuff. It, it said reduce the pain better than morphine. See? Yeah. And our taxi driver was eating that reduce shit. Reduce the pain better than morphine and make you Yeah, that's the leaf right there. Make you work more longer, stronger. Maybe next time, but I know that shit's illegal in Thailand. Did I mention that I love Thailand? Did I mention that I love Thailand? The YouTube channel? No. no I never heard. She's talking about there's a YouTube channel that says Gotta Love, the name of it's Gotta Love Thailand. I watch him quite a bit, but she thought I was talking about that. I'm just saying in general. Yeah, I love the fan Thailand. page, the Facebook page. I love Thailand. Like yeah. That. Leo Nung Dao, please. So, for you viewers, I speak some Spanish too, so sometimes I get messed up between the three languages. I'll, I'll be thinking about saying something in Thai, but my mind is only coming up with Spanish. So. But I think once I get moved here, live here permanently when I retire, it'll, it'll be fluid sooner, sooner or later. Now we're happy. How's your intestines? You need to try it. It's too sour. Sour meaning what? Vinegar? Sour. Uh, lemon. Oh, lemon. not rotten. You will complain like you eat rubber. Oh, I know. My intestines are that way. That's not bad. Sour. Sour. The juice is sour. Well, don't drink the juice. Just eat the eat the vegetables and the meat. You don't feel poop. No, nothing. Not at all. <laughs> okay, that's good. I, so, all, in all serious, if these things aren't cleaned right, they can taste really bad at times. And I've had intestines that were cleaned right, and they literally taste like poop. <laughs> these are clean. They, these taste good. Um, my plan is to go home tonight and start working on editing a video. I'll drink those other two beers I picked up earlier. I'll hopefully get a video uploaded tomorrow sometime before we head out to Chisiket. Oh, there it is. Not new. Not new. Okay, well, they didn't tell me this, but that's okay. There's stomach in here. That's a piece of... I work in the meat industry, beef. This is actually a piece of tripe. Yeah, it's, it's a piece of tripe, which is part of the stomach. What do they do with that when you work? It tastes like tripe, but it's clean correctly, so that's good. But this one doesn't look like it's clean, man. Huh? See how that one was white? This one is black. This one's not clean correctly. It made from different parts? No, no, it's tripe. I, I've, well, I've washed thousands and thousands and thousands of those. I personally have washed them, cleaned them. So how do you make it white? Just wash a lot? No, so 
this black stuff on the outside of here is actually like a little skin on there and you blanch it with hot water you shoot it with hot water and that'll fall off if you look at look at this one this is the same one right and you can tell that looks kind of the same this one is blanched and that black skin falls off this one's going to taste like cow food this one's going to be clean it's going to taste right see there's another one that one needs to go away because that's not clean properly. It's actually part of the rumen is what it is. On a cow. Is that her horn? <laughs> What's it saying? Get your ass over here. The same fish with vegetable. Oh, she's selling. Wrapped by the banana leaf. It's a snakehead fish. Huh? It's a snakehead fish. Is it? And mix with the I love seasoning. Snakehead fish. They cut and seasoning with spice. Also have cabbage again. Wrap with the banana leaf and steam it. This looks good. Now, how spicy is it? It don't look too bad. Those of you that remember Nina from Storm Lake, there's a uh, lady sitting right straight out in front of me on the next table that looks just like Nina. When she first walked by, I had to take a double take because I thought it was her, but it's not. It's like Siskel and Ebert. Two thumbs up. <laughs> 